gentlemen, this is Man Intelligence, and in this episode, episode 15,978, or how to make a girl fall in love with you. Beardy, is it really episode 15,978? Okay, I actually have no idea what episode this is, but what we do know is that, drum roll please, you're, you're gonna, gonna freaking, freaking love it. Because today we're showing you how to make a girl fall in love with you with psychology. Guys, women are busy these days and the world is full of distractions. You want to get her attention and make her fall in love with you? You're going to need some help. And that's why we're bringing you the most powerful and scientifically proven psychological tricks to make any girl fall in love with you. As some barefoot dreadlocked guy I met at a music festival once told me, we're all just a bag of chemicals floating through a psychedelic world, man. He was definitely onto something, but I'm pretty sure he was definitely on something too. Number six, take a hike, get some dopamine. Guys, if you want to know how to get a girl to fall in love with you, I figure it's crucial to have some level of understanding about how women's big, beautiful brains operate. And for some scientific insight into a woman's brain, we're here today with Professor Beardsley. Beardy, uh, that's just you with glasses on. Jeez, way to blow my cover, Kay. According to an article titled The Neurology of Love, deep romantic feelings are known to produce higher levels of dopamine, a chemical associated with reward, desire, addiction, and euphoric states. But the psychological trick becomes how to make her associate you with a little dopamine kick. And while there are a number of ways to increase dopamine levels in the brain, the healthiest and most effective way i found is through exercise. So here is one of the psychological tricks to get her to like you that I always incorporate into my dating plan. I always ask a girl on a day date and throw in a bit of mild exercise like a hike or a swim. And what I've found is that by including this type of exercise into a date, it not only takes the edge off, but the extra dopamine being produced makes it easier to make a romantic connection. The feel-good chemicals will help her associate you with the same feel-good chemicals that are produced when people fall in love. Number five, pump up her feel-goods. Guys, you really want to know how to make any girl fall in love with you? Another feel-good chemical, much like dopamine, serotonin has some answers, mostly in your tummy. Get this, studies have shown that serotonin levels actually deplete in the early stages of romantic love, down to levels similar to people with obsessive compulsive disorders. You heard of the term lovesick, right? It's all that serotonin flooding your system. It makes you feel great and then slowly goes away as the relationship progresses until you don't get those butterflies as much. So how do you manipulate her wires to help keep this feel-good brain chemical going? Here's one of the most coveted tricks to get girls to chase you that nobody else knows. First thing, where do most people go to spend their time together when they're dating? Laser tag? The zoo? Who have you been dating, Kay? No, most couples go out to dinner. Research suggests that eating animal products like meat, fish, eggs can help boost serotonin levels. In the early stages of love, there's a high potential for burnout when the magic wears off. The trick is to keep the magic alive by keeping the brain chemistry in line when you're together. And the way to do that is to nourish your body along with your brain. They say the way to a man's heart is through his stomach, but a girl I once dated never stopped raving about the first steak I grilled for her. Number four, master the name game. Starting at a very young age, our brains are trained to create an automatic, involuntary response whenever we hear our name. So knowing this, how do you make this a trick to work for you? Simple. Call a girl by her name almost every chance you get. That way, you trigger this automatic response more often and somehow train her brain to notice you and eventually like you. Hey, Kay, you look nice today, Kay. Uh, Beardy, I know what you're trying to do here. But seriously, guys, whenever someone mentions our names, it makes us feel special because we know that they're specifically talking to us and not to anyone else. For example, when I receive a text from a guy that says, Good night, Kay, I assume that he's thinking about me while sending that text. And more importantly, it shows that the message is exclusively for me and not a text that he sent to me, plus a few others on his contact list. Number three, be the man she's looking for. Remember the one that got away? We all have at least one. For me, it was a beautiful girl that I met a few summers ago. We hit it off, we fell in love, it was the best summer ever. And then as winter came and the holidays were approaching, she started to drift away. Next thing I knew, it was over. I got really depressed for a few months and then I pulled my head out of my butt, stopped feeling sorry for myself and decided to win her back. Oh, I can't wait to hear this one, Beardy. How do you win her back? Guys, you want to know how to make a girl fall in love with you again? Here it is. Research on love and attraction also tells us that people form an idea of their ideal partner prior to choosing one. And that idea comes from upbringing, community, culture, and the media. All I had to do was find out what kind of guy she was looking for and then show her that I was in fact that guy. Mm, sounds a bit disingenuous, Beardy. I'm not sure this is how you make a girl crazy for you. 
Well, I'm not saying you should be someone you're not. If your crush is interested in a type of guy that you have no interest in being, then she's probably not the right woman for you. But what I realized was that I was the guy she was looking for. I just hadn't shown her yet. Well, that makes sense, Beardy. Fellas, both in your personal and professional lives, a huge factor in determining success is how others perceive you. Yep, and all I had to do to win back my boo was to change the way she saw me. She thought I was unfocused and immature, probably because of my super cool beard. And oh, hey, look at that. I was super busy having fun with her in the summer. I never thought to slow down and talk about my goals and plans for the future. Once I started sharing with her, she started to see that I wasn't aimlessly meandering through life. I was able to show her that I actually had a good direction. Want to know more of how to make any girl fall in love with you fast? Check out this other video that we have that focuses on just that. Hey guys, now that you basically have superhuman dating powers with these few psychological tricks to help you win her over that are firmly grounded in the latest research on love and attraction, don't forget that at the end of this video, we're going to show you the number one mistake to avoid when falling in love. So stay tuned till the end to make sure you nail the landing and avoid the most common relationship pitfall. Number two, don't just fake it till you make it. Fellas, if you want to figure out how to make a girl fall in love with you, there are certain alpha male body language tricks that I know will make her want you. For me, it all came down to this one factor, self-confidence. Once I had more self-confidence, everything else started to fall into place. And here's why this is so important. When I was just trying to master a few alpha male body language tricks, I got good at gaining girls' attention. But in truth, I was just faking it. And as soon as a girl would come over to me, I would totally freak out and clam up. I could absolutely nail a full-on alpha male body stance without truly having the confidence to back it up. But I couldn't fake real self-confidence. And here's the most important thing I learned. Once I started building self-confidence, I naturally began carrying myself more like an alpha male without even knowing it. I would stand taller, my gait was sure-footed, smooth, and even. I could easily make direct eye contact and even hold a gaze if I wanted to. But it took time for me, and it'll take time for you. Just work at it day by day, and changes will happen. Number one, remove self doubt. So, Beardy, how does someone magically become more self confident? Great question, Kay. Guys, talk to any successful person, and you'll find a story about a person who had to deal with rejection and overcome self doubt in some way. J.K. Rowling, the author of Harry Potter, the best selling book series in history, struggled early on in her career and was at one time living on welfare. Fellas, the very act of analyzing self doubt, looking at it square in the face, facing your fears of rejection, and moving past it is exactly one of the things women find very attractive. That's true, Beardy. Guys, you want to know how to make a girl fall in love with you instantly? Be courageous. And I'm not talking wrestle a mountain lion level courageous. I mean, have the courage to be you, whatever that means for you. There's nothing more instantly attractive than a guy who knows who he is. And that's very simply because the alternative, a guy who's still finding himself, doesn't give the same sense of maturity, stability, and ultimately, the security that a woman's looking for in a man. A guy who's still trying to find himself is a big question mark in a girl's mind. And girls don't fall in love with question marks, but they might spend a night with them if they're smooth enough. Don't lose yourself. It's been well documented that falling deeply in love can actually suspend a person's ability to think rationally and logically. One of the biggest mistakes I repeatedly made early on in the hot, sweaty early stages of relationships was to succumb to the fever. I stopped working on projects. I even stopped working out at one point. I was so infatuated with a girl. And the danger of losing yourself early in the stages of love is that you stop doing the things that made you the person she was attracted to in the first place. You run the risk of changing into someone she may fall out of love with. And the benefit of being self-aware during the early stages of falling in love, aka the romance period, is that you can intentionally slow it down. By pacing myself when I'm in a new relationship and not letting myself fall head over heels, I've found that I can actually significantly extend the amazing energy of the romance period. And that means less chance of a burnout, where the smell wears off and she might move on to greener pastures. So the next time you find yourself in a hot new relationship, remember to slow down and pace yourself. Building a meaningful and lasting relationship is a marathon not a sprint. Do you have a psychological trick to make her fall madly in love with you that works every time? Let me know your secret approach in the comments. Those are the five most powerful, scientifically backed psychological tricks to make any girl fall in love with you. And don't forget to check out our other video for some more ways to make her fall in love with you fast. If you like this video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.